hi welcome to the part 11 of this video series this is this part is a part of a playlist please go through the entire playlist for previous questions in this part we are looking at questions which are linked with these three topics remember these are all real certification questions do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button let's jump into the questions you may pause this to read it carefully so basically you have a VPC and you have public and private subnets so you have this range which is assigned to the VPC and this range is for the private subnet now if the VPC instances if they need to communicate how should the route table be set that is what we need to answer so from a routing perspective the destination always has to be this one because you know this is the range assigned to the VPC so keeping that in mind I would strike off this and this option because if you see the destination it has this range and this range so the answer has to be one of these B and D now let us choose which one so let us look at D so D and B are same except that the target is local here and the target is all here now since we got a private subnet we cannot use all because all is kind of if you had just the public subnets you could have done all so we would go with option B as our answer so first let us understand what are route tables so if you want to set a rule to divert the traffic okay from your subnet or gateway then you set up a route table so in our question we saw this stuff like destination so this is what destination is it's a range of IP address where you want the traffic to go it's common sense right source destination source destination source destination source means from where this thing originates destination means what would be the final target if you are traveling from Los Angeles to New Jersey Los Angeles is your source New Jersey is your destination now also have a look at target what is a target so you have a destination traffic you know that what means is you have a traffic which is going to New Jersey as per our example well, that traffic will pass through the target for example internet gateway for example between Los Angeles and uh, New Jersey you might have to go through Chicago okay so Chicago would be kind of a target through which your destination traffic flows through now let us look at this question so this question I would say is not a very different question if you're coming from a database background if you were working on Oracle SQL Server DB2 um, MariaDB and so on you already know, you know there there are certain uh, dictionary tables which we leverage to understand how many indexes and what are those indexes and they are on which tables so this is an article a code article which explains you about secondary indexes to improve performance always remember why do you use indexes suppose you have a book and someone says here you know you have to read a topic on CITR so would you scan through each and every page no you would go through the index and you would see which chapter has CITR mentioned or in many cases we go towards the end of the book in the appendix section and we try to search for references so what happens if you use index your search is faster instead of going through each and every page you are now just going through one page that is the index page and you come to know 
which page you have to be directed so what it does is it improves performance in terms of data it helps to understand where is that data stored now what this question is asking I want a list of indexes what command should I fire so if you see batch get item it is a part of API when you are making API calls if you want to read an item you use get item okay whether it be get item or if you want to read it in batch then you use batch get item. so this has nothing to do with dynamo TV this is wrong and this is wrong so let us look at describe table you know what it does is just like any RDBMS I know DynamoDB is not RDBMS but the commands work similar way it gives you all the details of the table like what are the fields what is the table name what how many indexes exist on that table and so on so this is my final answer I could not uh, no, I did a Google on table name. I could not find anything in the AWS documentation. But if you find something, please drop in your comment. Now, this question is a bit long one. So I would request you to please pause the video here and come back after you read this carefully. Let me explain you the story here. So do you understand what an AMI is? So AMI is a machine image. If you are working for a corporate like Infosys, TCS and so on, when you join a project or the company, they give you a laptop or a desktop. And how is or how are the softwares and the operating systems installed? They are installed via images. They are not installed by each person taking one software at a time they don't do that they have a big image and what does that image contain it contains operating system it contains software applications like office 365 your word powerpoint it can contain your email clients uh, like outlook or notes it might contain antivirus and any firewall softwares so what happens is this package they create so that the guy who does the installation he can make mistakes if he just installs one application at a time so what happens is they create a mirror they get it certified that hey you know this mirror is good to be deployed on thousands of laptops and desktops and that is where machine images are very useful and this is exactly exactly what this question is asking for they want to create okay please focus please focus they want to create an AMI and they want it security approved and it should have passed through all CVV assessments okay I hope you are with me till now we are trying to create an AMI which is security approved it passes through all the assessments so that it is security compliant and before the developers use it you know it is a very important task now this AMI would be rolled out to thousands of developers imagine TCS it has like hundred thousand employees and if you are going to roll it out to even 20% of that audience it is kind of 20,000 employees and if you go wrong if you make a mistake it is not security approved and so on you would you know cascade it further to 20,000 laptops or desktops and it will create havoc if you try to recall that and there is one more requirement is that in order to comply with the security requirements your these images will be scanned like every 30 days to make sure that the images are still compliant now if you are a solution architect what options would you choose out of these five remember we have to choose two options 
so in a nutshell in a nutshell and this is a very important piece i am trying to summarize this okay you have to address two two problems if you go to a doctor the doctor says he has to address two problems you have a headache and you have a constipation he will give you a medicine for constipation and he might also give you a medicine for headache we have to give two medicines now we have to give one medicine for what for cv assessment because the images must be inspected for vulnerabilities whenever we talk about vulnerabilities there is only one guy a police inspector he inspects who is the thief who is not so if you don't trust me see this documentation and inspector is a security vulnerability assessment service in aws and what it does is it is an automated manner it does continuous vulnerability management at scale that means even if these ec2 images if there is one or many it will still work so do we see inspector anywhere here so we see it here so this is my first answer because i do not see inspector anywhere else now if you see a similar medicine that they are giving is they are using cloud trail for the assessments cloud trail it will help you enable governance compliance operational risk auditing and etc basically it is tracking your activities if you enable it for your account whenever any activity occurs it will log that activity it will record it that means how is it different from inspector inspector will not allow the thief to get in but cloud trail will allow it it will just say that hey you know what a guy with this name who seems to be a thief logged in in your apartment at this time but he or she this service will not stop it not stop the thief from getting in and we want to pass the cv assessment that means we have to stop the thief there so that's why c is correct and d is wrong in this regard similarly the same medicine they have tried to give it in a different manner using systems manager see systems manager will help you manage your applications and infrastructure it simplifies application and resource management it shortens the time to detect and resolve operational problems it is going to help you with operational problems this is the key please focus this is the key it will help you with operational problems it will not help you with bad players stopping the bad players that means in an apartment complex if the uh, the guard the guards did not start the motor pump to pump water in time that is an operational issue but if the guard didn't stop a thief and a theft happens that is a security issue remember this we cannot address a security issue with a operational solution and hence a is wrong now we have considered options for the first symptom first disease now second disease you have to scan it every 30 days so there are two options b and d we have to consider which which looks similar but there is a difference so both the option says use lambda to write the automatic approval rules which is fantastic which is correct then it says here if we use system manager parameter store and that is fine because we will have to store the approved list somewhere so that people can uh, distribute it or use it or install it and so on and the difference between these two options is like one says we use event bridge to trigger system manager automation document so that the scan happens every 30 days and here it says that we use uh, config rule for continuous scanning of the ec2 instances okay and then use uh, system manager automation documentation for remediation okay so my take here is nobody is asking for you uh, you to provide a automated remediation there is i could not see this in in here anywhere that they need a automated remediation they just say that it must be scanned every 30 days so uh, option d goes a bit far to even provide automated remediation but what it does is it it says it will continuously scan instead of scanning every 30 days it is going to scan continuously we do not have this requirement of continuous scanning always remember that 
if uh, x has been asked to be delivered and you deliver x plus y plus z there will be additional resources being utilized and uh, there will be additional cost so that is not good as per the best practice as per the best practice best practice deliver only what has been asked to save costs so this is wrong and this is correct so these are my two final answers please take a note of it and i hope you got a hang of how did we establish these two answers you have to act like a doctor you have to identify diseases we identified two diseases that is cv assessment vol volumetry tracking and scanning every 30 days we know that we have to give medicines for these two problems we gave option c we gave this medicine to solve this problem and then we gave the, this option b this medicine to solve this problem so in a nutshell if you don't want to go through my detailed explanation what i did is i just saw the word inspected and i know i want to use inspector so i chose c and i saw the word scan every 30 days and where do i see every 30 days i see it here so you can choose b because this guy is doing continuous scanning so that's a very simple way you know it's a big question you think that this is complex but there is also a very stupid and a simple and a common sense way of answering this please subscribe to my channel hit the like button it helps me to understand the audience pulse and i can put in some more contents which are very informative if you need me to create contents around other certifications please drop in your comments do not forget to refer to all the parts in this playlist this brings us to the end of part 11 we covered questions linked with these three topics see you in the next part